but now, I want your calls on something very different. Should we let the US keep nuclear weapons in Britain? It's been reported that the USA is planning to station nuclear weapons in the UK for the first time in 15 years. Pentagon documents which relate to a new facility in Suffolk suggest that the US intends to place nuclear warheads at an air base that are, uh, that are three times the strength of Hir the Hiroshima bomb. America previously removed nuclear missiles from the UK in 2008, but are now reacting to an increased threat from Russia. So should we let the USA keep nuclear weapons here? Or are you worried that that might just put Britain in the firing line? 0207 862 is the number for your thoughts on this. Nina, when you hear this, what is your initial reaction? Well, the trouble is we have, we have no say in this matter, really, because when the US says jump, we say how high. Um, and I think it's, it's dreadful. It, it is, in fact, sabre-rattling. Mm. And Putin um, will, will see it as an, an, an aggressive... Well, uh, Russia it, has said that yes, they will absolutely. see it as a, an escalation. Yes, and, and in a way he's right, because um, I think Ali was saying this morning that that NATO has expanded. It's exactly what Putin has said. And we're sort of drawing out battle lines. And it it's actually gets quite worrying. And then and you know, and, and what what's what's happening with the with with this with the strike in Jordan with the three uh, American servicemen yes. killed and people, you know, and, and there's Biden saying, well it's Iran, blah blah. So the whole kind of melting pot, it's not just Russia, it's the Middle East as well, and then there's China. But but our position closer to Russia than America means that they want um, the sabre rattling to go on on our land. And I don't like it because Brexit was supposed to give us more autonomy and, and, and um, more, you know, independence and as, as a strong free state. In fact, we have less because we don't have the protection. I know we have NATO, but when Trump comes in, God knows, we have NATO, but we don't have the protection of, of Europe. We, so you we, think our strings are being pulled by just a, a, a different... Yes, our strings place. are by, by the US because we, we can't stand up to the US. We have to, you know, our, the special relationship and all of that, but, but we are being used. But don't we seem stronger, I suppose, if we are aligned yeah. with America than if we were just out there on our own, Mike? Totally. Look, I was delighted when I read this because these um, nuclear warheads are going to be available at Lake and Heath. And Lake and Heath is the most active US Air Force military base outside of the United States of America because, as Nina points out, it's near the front line with, uh, with Russia, OK? Now, the last time we had the facility to launch missiles from this country... Uh, of this gravity was in 1983 at Greenham Common. By 1990, the Soviet Union had collapsed in the face of the West saying, we are standing up to you, we will not put up with this anymore, you mess with us, we've got the hardware to hit back. And I think it's a very, very good thing, I do. And, and will it work this time, though? Well, well I, th I think it w it's already working, because Putin's already rattled and say there'll be consequences. Russia is not half as strong as people think it is. It's 20 times weaker in terms of its economy than the whole of the NATO countries. Yeah, it, it can't still possibly... Has nuclear wait. warheads. No, 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 yeah, but nuclear warheads is always the last option, and hopefully they'll never be used. But what I'm saying is... Joe Biden has been reluctant to worry Russia or Iran, oh, I might aggravate them and provoke them, by getting hard. This, for the first time, is the United States getting hard. I doubt very much if, if President Biden knows anything about it. It's almost certainly done straight from the Pentagon. High-level military officials have decided this has got to be done, and I'm very pleased about it. OK, James from Cardiff, are you pleased about it? Um, Stormy makes no difference to us. Um, Mike, as you understand, we've got 225 nuclear weapons of our own. Mm -hmm. It's not as though that the Russians wouldn't hit us anyway. And Nina, the Americans are our strongest allies. And I'd rather stand with the Americans than our European allies. But Any James, day we're, of the week. We're a closer we had both. We had both before, James. We had both. both. No, I'd rather have the Americans any time of the day. Any time of the day. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've served with them in the Gulf War. I would serve with them again, no problem. Well, as a mil as, well as a military man, you have a di you're very different perspective because that's 
these are the tools of your trade, if you like. They're not the tools of my trade, and therefore I, I'm allowed to be anxious about it. Thank you very That's much. That's fine, yeah, I could say you could be anxious, but we've got 225 nuclear warheads of our own. Yeah. James, so you might, the you Russians might... would still attack us. James, you might know more about this than me, but I believe we're trying to renew our nuclear capabilities at the moment, and in order to do that and fund that, we are already sort of in bed with America. They're investing in it with us, and therefore... What difference does it make if they keep their nuclear weapons exactly. on our land? Because we're already aligned with But them. James, doesn't exactly. it make us a, a target? Because it's, it's easier for Russia no. to... Tina, we would be a target anyway. I they know. would take us out. Uh, our be a bit, James, would be taken out. Old Damaster would be taken out. I That's agree. where we make our nuclear weapons. We're a target anyway. James, so I'm not going to... Yeah. James, but it makes I, I, us more of a target. OK, but I, no. the, way, the way you're no. talking about this is quite frightening. I think for a lot of people at home, they will find this quite frightening because you were saying, matter-of-factly, we're already a target. Mm. We are much closer than America would be for Russia potentially to hit. All this sort of speaking about this conversation about mobilising the population, is, does that not strike fear with you, James? Not at all. This is, you know, this is what we should all understand. There is a world out there. It is very dangerous. You need to be aware of what is out there and the capabilities of your country. If you don't know the capabilities of your country, when it happens, it's going to be a massive shock to you. But a lot but, of people yeah. will say that we're a small island. Maybe we should just stay out of all the other wars, stay we, out of everyone's we, we, business. We I know historically we so haven't. We are, we are a country and... that's been to war for the last hundred years. But, there is no other country like us on this earth and we, we're used to it, and people need to understand. We've got 225 nuclear weapons. We would be a target. Having our allies base there, medium-range nuclear weapons here is not an issue because it's, it's not going to affect it's anything. It's been very interesting uh, listening to you. Nina, you're shaking your head still. Well, I, I'm saying you know, there's this whole kind of warmongering talk. And it's war -mongering. Is it warmongering? It's deterrent. It's deterrent it's, 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 it's the same thing. It's, it's, bu not. it's, it's building up and building up and building up. That it... it you know, to hear James saying, "Well, this is this is part of what we've always done." You know, inexorably moving towards it is, and the more they talk about it in these terms, it's it's male bombast. It's not male bombast. It's, it is you're male gonna, bombast. J James, would you? You're a military man. Do you not agree that deterrent is often a much much better weapon than attack? And that's what we're doing, the isn't stick, it? The stick must be used before the carrot. If the Russians know we have actually got medium-range nuclear weapons here as well as intercontinental ballistic missiles, exactly. you know, you've got to think, you've got to roll that dice because if you attack us, at least 10 of ours are going to get into you. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah. And the, and what complicates this issue is that at the moment we have a, a US that we kind of know and, uh, you know, we know who mm. the president is and you know, all of that. When Trump gets in, which... Oh, well, that's... Well, failing... Is that optimistic or pessimistic? No, 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 I don't pessimistic. know, it depends failing, on what's failing, the point. Failing, as we said, coronary yeah. or the courts, um, he is going to... It looks like he's going to be the next president. It does. He is so volatile and unreliable. We have no um, idea. And much there, more realistic. Isn't there much an more argument to say, and yeah. this is... Trump would say this himself, if you have a... Ma you have a dog with a mad... If you have a neighbour with a mad dog, yeah. it's better that you get a mad dog too because mm. they kind of repel each other right. rather than just constantly yeah. living in fear I, of the other neighbour. I don't believe Ukraine or the Middle East will be in the terrible state they're in now if Donald Trump was still President of the United oh, States. I do ridiculous. not believe it would have oh, happened. Trump, Trump Iran, the same thing? Uh, Iran would not Why be acting believe... like they are all over the world oh. and Putin would have thought twice about oh, his incursion into Ukraine. James, thank you I'm very sure much for it. your call. Roy from Wolverhampton, what's your views on, on the US storing some of their nuclear weapons on our, um, our land? I think they're probably already here. You know, like the last call, there's 225 uh, nuclear weapons of our own, but how many of them are licensed from from America? All of them. The thing is, we will never, never know what what is actually here. But what, it wasn't too long ago when the Scottish National Party wanted the nuclear off the Clyde. Yes. Because they said it would make a target, and that's obvious. But if you don't know where they are, then... It, so I can't work out what you're arguing for here, Roy. Are you arguing that actually we know too much and we should know very little? I, I don't think we know anything. I think we we know about the Clyde because the um, the Scottish National Party wanted them off the Clyde. Mm. Well, what about the rest of the place? You're, you're talking about Trident. I feel like we knew about Absolutely. that before SNP said, the SNP said that they wanted it 
away from the Clyde. So I don't I don't think that lay sort of under cloak and dagger. I think that was quite a, a, an openly held secret, if it was a secret at all, Roy. But you're right. I mean, there might be other nuclear weapons that we know nothing about, and maybe that's of benefit. What do you think? Um, yes, I do, because the Russians have been taking the mickey out of us for many years. There was all that poisoning of people up in, um, uh, where was it? Salisbury. Salisbury. Yes. And then, then the um, their ships running through our waters. Mm. You know, they're just testing. And yeah, well, I, 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 I totally agree with Roy. It's a, it, it, it's a question of how strong are you? How much can we poke you before you poke back? And if we constantly just sit back and say, oh, we don't want to provoke the Russians anymore, the Russians are just going to walk no, all over us. They're not civilised people. We're civilised, they're not. I, under I understand all of that. But what, what did the women who protested at Greenham Common all those years ago, what were they protesting against? They, and, and they were protesting... Cruise missiles. It, exactly. They were, they were protesting against having nuclear weapons on our soil. Mm -hmm. And it was so important. And it, but it was, you noticed that it was women who were protesting. Men who would go, blah, 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 it's all this. And... I don't know if we can gender this no, situation. You can because gender it's a... it quite, quite a lot, well, I think. the bomb uh, It's very, very general. Men. To be honest, absolutely, and, and it, it, that's absolutely fine. But it was the women who put aside their yeah. own lives, yeah. um, their normal lives, yeah. and and for the, for 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 an idea to to, to try yeah. and prevent but, that. But Nina, the U, the Soviet Union collapsed because of the resistance from the West put together by Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher. They realised they've got two very tough people here, we're never going to win, and the Berlin Wall well, came okay. down. And, and, and that was because of the very simplistic said, then, view. What do we do about the Russian issue? What, 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 how, what tack do we take if it isn't a deterrent, if it isn't saying, look, we are aligned with really uh, strong nations, we have nuclear warheads, we're ready. What, what tack yes, do you take? But, if we have our, but we shouldn't have American... Nuclear. We have to. We, we, I don't see why we. Should. I be, be, really don't see why we. Because should. Because the Western Alliance is built around no. the power of America. I mean, I don't think we can even launch our nuclear missiles from submarines without America's permission. Oh. That's how entwined we are with the Rita Americans. Rita from Wigan, how is this all making you feel? Um, I, I agree that we should have American weapons on our soil because uh, Putin is another Hitler, and we all know what happened at the start of. Uh, before World War II, we kept giving in to Hitler and giving in to him and giving in to him. And that just gave him the bravado to carry on and start the Second World War. And Putin, he's a megalomaniac and but, but Rita, he's not how, rational. How does it benefit having US nuclear weapons on our soil? How does, how does that benefit us, the UK? Well, uh, beefing up our own uh, uh, nuclear weapons... Uh, you know, it, it, it's also it's also telling him that we are not going to let him do whatever he wants because you have to stand up to people like him. I do wonder about a previous caller saying that, you know, we probably have a lot of nuclear weapons that we don't know whether we are. We, maybe there is value in actually having things that we don't know anything about and we mm. don't publicise globally. I'm sure there's lots of I, things like I, that. I, yeah. I don't know. Uh, Rita, thank you very much for your call. Thanks for all your calls on this.